Oh, March 16, day of endless import. On that day, under our mentor, Jose Toda, we made up a mini model of Kosen Rufu. And on that day, mentor and disciples swore to strike out for their common cause. This pledge will go on for all time. This day of deep meaning is called Kosen Rufu Day. Though already in March, the cold was yet fierce on Mount Fuji at dawn. At the call which came as sudden as a flash of lightning, 6,000 young comrades of Bodhisattvas of the earth hastened to come together in high spirits, with their breath puffing white and their footsteps resounding in the dim woods. They crossed the still sleeping land. Young girls with rosy cheeks and young boys dressed for school all stood tall, though wearing little warm clothing. Together, in the hard chill of early morning, we all savored the deliciousness of warm pork soup. Our mentor's generous spirit, warming our bodies and minds, shabbily got up, but bursting with the pride and happiness of living for a mission. Our joy in living, along with our mentor, and in stepping forward together with him, sparkled in smiles of the greatest satisfaction. Looking back on the morning of New Year's Day 1958, stricken in his intense battle with the devil of illness, our mentor told me his unquenchable desire. I want to fight for another seven years to the reaching of a membership of two million households, filling his longing my heart ached deep. I resolved on that day that I would take up the torch for the winning of Kosen Rufu and carry it successfully throughout my entire life, no matter what. I will never forget his heartfelt desire. There nothing more that I want. All I hope for is capable people whom I can trust. Ah, March 16, the Prime Minister did not come, but his wife and son-in-law came in his stead. As the ceremonies opened, despite his illness, our mentor stood up bravely at the head of this array of young followers of the Bodhisattvas of the art. And there he passed on to us his great desire to accomplish Kosen Rufu. Mystically, this hallowed event became a solemn ceremony at which the royal banner of succession was handed on from mentor to disciple. So, this was March 16, 1958. The day Toda Sensei passed the baton of Kosunrofu to the earth, especially to Daisaku Ikeda. And now is the time for us, the disciples, to take this forward. Ikeda Sensei instructed the youth of Soka to keep the spirit of Ma 16 forever young and flowing by sharing these lines. I believe you will beautifully scale unprecedented rug summits and proudly ring again and again the bell of daybreak to usher in the new century. The time has come around again for us to observe Kozen Rufu Day. This day signifies the dawn of hope for my dear disciples. Youth, always push on. Now is the time. We should not go back even a step. Youth, sing the bride and brave song of youth, proudly and hopefully, continuing to challenge your daily efforts courageously in your pursuit of study and training with a golden unity that will never break down. Give yourselves to accomplishing this, our sacred undertaking, bringing in a new day in the history of mankind.